G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the world of Warcraft. Uh, uh not Wrath of the Lich King. We're in modern World of Warcraft, current World of Warcraft. And uh, we're here on the Human Palette in Artraxius. As you can see, the UI has changed. If you're watching the Pandera and Monk series, you notice the same thing. Dragonfly pre-patch is here. And so with it, there's a UI change. Uh, we've got also the Talon Trees have changed. So you can pop points in Paladin points and protection points uh, as you go through the spec. So every spec will have Paladin points available. But you've also got your specialization there on the right. So... It's given me, a, I've gone with this starter build, which they've got here, which is quite nice because I don't have to go through every single one of these. However, I want to actually do that. I want to know exactly what each one does and probably tweak and change it as I go along. So I'll do that at a later date, but that's to give you a little update. So next time you log in, or if you've been thinking about logging into World of Warcraft, you can expect this type of change. Uh, you can also see the professions. Uh, windows have changed a little bit a little bit so you can also do things like track recipe so you can track down uh the items that you need keep tabs on that that's quite nice and in fact having done that having done that i just realized what reagent bag hang on what excuse me well there you go that's something new too we got a new slot a reagent bag ah that's awesome well I'm going to have to go through and have a look at all the things that are available. I have to find some patch notes. But anyway, let's get on to it. If you'd like to see this series from the beginning, you can find the series playlist in the top right, or you can find that in the description below. Let's get questing. What up? The Northern Pylon. You've done us a number of favors, Artraxius. Now let Gremix do one for you. The attacks on Marshall's refuge was terrible, undoubtedly. They came without warning and took no prisoners. They were lucky that so many of them survived. A few weeks ago, I came across a crystal pylon in the cliffs to the northeast of here, east of Marshall's refuge. I think the pylon and the attacks may be related somehow. Maybe you can investigate. I'm sure someone in Marshall's stand will thank you. Have a good one. All right. To the northeast. Which is actually just near that, that, um titan area we saw before yeah um so we've got the nameplate over there i don't know how i feel about it i think i'm fine with it <laughs> it's nice to have the critical information closer to your character but by the same token we already got that information underneath the character right but uh yeah, you can, you can actually switch it back. So this is the modern preset. You can switch it to the classic preset by going to edit mode and um, simply clicking a button and it'll pop it right up the top there. I won't do it now because I believe it might bring up an error for me. Okay. Examine the pylon. The crystal pylons of Angoro are a mystery to all. To the new inhabitants here, they are a source of legend with much speculation as to their purpose. Okay. Examine the pylon. The pylon seems to be transmitting data somewhere else. Uh, a closer inspection of the pylon leads you to find a small table containing yellow, red, and green crystals arranged in what seems like a specific formation. A large yellow circle of crystals is flanked on either side by a smaller circle of red crystals and another of green crystals. You carefully take note of what you see, knowing that someone... They'd be very interested in hearing about what you have found. Okay, report to JD. So I noticed while we were reading that, it was transmitting data. And it slowly came down here. To a stop. Oh. You know, in all these years I've played World of Warcraft, I don't think I've ever read anything to do with those pylons ever before. What is, what is up with those pylons? I want to know. What do they do? What are they for? Let's go to Marshall's stand and report in. I mean, this whole area is like Jurassic Park all of a sudden, right? What's the purpose? Hmm. 
you step on if you go on through that that tight portal you ended up uh Shalazar basin pleased to meet you is this jurassic park and Shalazar basin is like where they create them or something or is it the opposite way you have a great day now the northern part of, you'd think this may be related to the tax and marshall's refuge attractions very good no no follow-up oh there is a quest over here pleased to meet you hey you want to try my new dimitridon dogs no nope. uh raptor risotto uh pterodax tacos fine oh i just remembered I have a friend nearby that might be able to use your assistance. His name is Spark Nilmaner, and he's a Marshall's Expedition's Chief Archaeology Officer. He's been sent out to Golaka Hot Springs to the west. You'll likely find him on the spring's western shore. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alright, so we'll go... Actually, you know, you, wanna, you know what, let's go over there. Um, because they may have quests that take place down here. Uh, I feel like there's somewhere where there is actually a bit of a description of this zone. I'm not quite sure where to find that at the moment. But yeah. It's always been that, oh, the, di the dinosaur zone. You go down there, watch out for that big T-Rex. <laughs> That's about the size of it for me. But why, why is it like this? What's going on? What's with those pylons? What were the titans up to? If anything. Good old Nolan. Ah, oh, what is he doing? Well, hopefully better than I am. <laughs> Roll the bones. You'd think that being a chief digger for martial expeditions means I like digging. There might be worse things to do in this world, but none really leap to mind. We were supposed to be digging in Terra Run. Fantastic name, by the way. For dead Stegodons and Dimitridons, well, there are plenty of live ones there too. Will and Hole are still all about this studying this death trap, so we need those dinosaur bones. Between you and me, though, bringing some from live ones will work out just as well. Hurry back! Hurry back! What about you down there? Greetings. Oh, Paladino. Maximilian of Northshire. An important lesson. What ho, traveller? You must know what you set foot upon. The camp of Maximilian of Northshire. Mayhap you have heard tales sung of my exploits. I can see from the look in your eye that you have. The glint of recognition plays upon your visage like the white lady's reflection over Stan Stone Cairn Lake. It is clear to me that you seek adventure. As you see me born off and thoroughly well-intentioned, I would offer to make you my squire. Oh, thank you very much. Stay your sword and loosen your cap. Before we do battle with our blades, I first have unprepared an assault to unleash upon your ears. Are you prepared? Uh, all right, I'm, I'm ready. A squire is the right hand of the knight, as you are already fully aware. Hands are especially good at carrying things, and thus your first duty will be to carry my sundries, knickknacks, and other miscellaneous paraphernalia while I dispense justice across the land. To lug around such etc. is a job unbefitting of a knight. Understandable? Very good. Ah, uh, secondly, you must know that a knight embraces no tenet more tightly than that of chivalry. He clings to his generosity as tightly as he clings to his lance. His valor shines as brightly as his armor, and while his small sword may be sharp, his manner among allies is soft and courteous. Now, tell me, Artraxius, do you give your oath to hold to the teachings of chivalry and gallantry? I give you my oath. Ha! Did I not just say, good Artraxius, chivalry and gallantry are the charge of the knight? You seek only to be a squire. The colossal burden of chivalry is unfit for the squire, for as I mentioned before, the only colossal burden that you are to bear is that of my belongings. This is ridiculous. I don't have to put up with this. 
Moving on. A chivalry, as chivalry is the way of the knight, and I am a knight. You must know, then, that my own intentions are indeed valorous. It is true, I fight for my lady Doloria, to proclaim her beauty and majesty across all the lands. Any who question her beauty are without a doubt the most vile of enemies, and must be brought to justice. As I speak, it occurs to me that I am a failure. We have come quite far in the squiring ceremony, yet I, I have not yet ascertained whether or not you've deserved my charity or my righteous fury. I must know now. Do you agree that my Lady Deloria is unquestionably the fairest lady across all of Azeroth? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, she is. Un unquestionably. I am rather glad to hear that. Congratulations, Artrisius, for you have completed your training. You may now ride beside me into the fray. Woohoo! For the Alliance. For the Alliance? This is what I do for the Alliance. King's honor, friend. Oh my goodness. Light bless you. You please me, Artraxius. From this day forward, you are no longer a simple beggar, but a squire loyal to Maximilian of Northshire. Prepare yourself for our first sally, good squire, for together we shall plunge our fists elbow deep into what they call adventure. Go with honor, friend. Maximilian is deep in prayer, oblivious to your presence. Light bless you. The evil dragons of Ungoro Crater. This crater is filled with a malignant breed of dragon. Have you seen them? They wander all about, parading their spiky backs and lizardy faces all around the crater. Don't let them fool you, squire. For these dragons are no minions of graceful Alexstrasza. They are clearly vicious and direly in need of a hero's blade. I've decided that I will slay no less than 15 of them. As my squire, you must come along. Should we become separated, you may meet me back here at the hot springs. For the Alliance. 15 dragons. Oh, he's ready to go. Hang on a second. With you. There's another one. With honor, friend. Town dwellers were made to be saved. I have a feeling that we may find more than dragons here in this crater. My paladin's instinct tells me that there are townsfolk nearby that require our aid. Those in distress cannot be ignored. Let us sally forth, Squire Artraxius. The people of Angoro require our aid. Be careful. Have a listen to this guy. Where are we going, buddy? <laughs> Take me to the dra is that the dragon? Oh, that's a dragon. Well, I get my dragon bones at the same time, right? A dragon! Get the dragon. Now, I don't know if this is part... I mean, it could be here somewhere, but it looks like I'm missing my... greater heal that I had before. It was a holy light or something. I had a... I had a better heal over here. That seems to be gone. I mean, my between my word of glory and flash of light, I think I'll get the job done. Uh, but that, I notice that's missing. But in replace, I've got now, I've got like, it looks like a battle res. Petition on the light on the behalf of a fallen ally, restoring spirit to the body and allowing them to re-enter battle. Yeah. 10 minute cooldown. Okay, so I've got that. And I've also got this, Bastion of Light. Your next three casts of Shield of the Righteous or Word of Glory cost no holy power. So that's cool. Um, also, having a look, I noticed deep down in the protection, I've got Divine Toll, which was is a Shadowlands ability that you got by going with the... Ah... Uh, Kirin? No. What are they called? Wow. It's been a while since I played Shadowlands. I've totally forgot the, the, the covenants. Uh, Bastion, in Bastion. Those guys. <laughs> anyway, I had that on my Paladin. And so, you can get it here. Instantly cast sh Avenger Shield on five targets within 30 yards. I love that ability. Kirin? Kirian? 
They're called Kyrian? I feel like I should be able to look this up pretty quickly. Shadowlands? In Bastion, yes. They're around here somewhere. Somewhere around here. Not Kirin Tor. See, I've been playing World of Warcraft Classic, and so I'm more concerned about Kirin, Kirin Tor at the moment. Getting that reputation up. <laughs> Kirin? Something like that. Oh, let's just take on a, an elite, why don't we? Another dragon slain. So apparently I'm meant to be getting dinosaur bones. I've killed a few of these things now. No, only one dinosaur bone. Only one dinosaur. The rest of them, they're all slugs or something. They're not dragons at all. Another dragon slain. Ah, oh, we got red crystals here, good. Now over here I see... Dweller. A dweller in the cliff to be sl Not slain, to be rescued. To be saved. Saved. Not slain, no, another dragon. Dragons everywhere, does he count that plan over there as a dragon too? No need to fight the elite, it is a yellow mob. Uh. I like this Bastion Light, I'll be able to shield slam. Three times. Just bop, bop, bop. Might have to see if I can... I don't know, would I? Uh, maybe. It's got a two minute cooldown. Two minute cooldown. Would I um, want to spam that? I don't know. Keep it for special, special moments. I wonder if that would work well in PvP. Run up to a dude. Start cracking him in the head. Luck is with us today, a town dweller appears before us. Fear not, for Maximilian of Northshire has arrived to deliver you from your rocky tomb. Hop! Oh, that's an amazing jump. Now cry not, as you fall not to your death, but into the waiting arms of my squire. Be flung to safety! Hang on, dude. I wasn't even down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Flung to safety. <laughs> Nevertheless, you are now freed from the mountain's grip and safe from harm. Marshall Stan lies to the east, I believe. She alright? I think she's gonna need a moment. <laughs> It's gonna need a couple moments there. She may have had some choice words for the guy that I missed out on. Is this a dragon? Does you count that as a dragon? Some nice hits there. Some nice hits. I like how the see how the the loot just slid to the side. I like that animation. Do 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 do. Now I've arranged my UI mostly how I had it before. But uh, you don't have to have the bars here if you don't want. You can have a third bar up here. Um, third, maybe even a fourth. I'm not 100% sure on that. But 
you don't have to have them to the side like I do. You can also, with edit mode, minimize these. Make them even smaller if you like. So you can make them small, these, this bar smaller, but you can still have this bar the same size. You can sort of muck around with it a little more than you could in the past. At least with the default, uh, the default game and, and not, you know, the use of add-ons. Add-ons are, of course, are gonna allow you to do whatever the hell you want, right? Within reason. How many bones we got? Two bones. Come on, let's get him and get up. Let's go, Maximilian. Let's do this thing. See, I've got... My Consecration, all my things are tracked here. I can see my holy power, my health, my mana. I don't really know whether I need this here anymore. You know, likewise with the enemy nameplates, do we actually really need them on the side? Can we just have them above their head and that's that? No men. Or the Alliance. The evil dragons of Angoro, and that makes 15 of them. What? Oh! Dragon! He just charged that thing. I don't think it was anywhere near us. He just went, he just straight up charged it. Just stay away from it, fella. Maybe that's why we had a, we were fighting an elite before. Need help. Okay. What was up to? Reading this quest. Oh, so it kind of just, I don't know what it said. Oh, hang on, maybe I can read this. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I don't know what it said. So, oh. He kind of got excited by seeing that thing. Seeing the other uh, dinosaur and charging at it. Blood Oh, that's the sprout. That's what we needed to, um... Oh, uh, where was it? Somewhere around there. Dragon, I shall run you through. I oh, wouldn't actually need to fight this guy. And I see some bones over here too, cool. That's what we want. Let's pick up the bones. Seven of eight. One over there and a crystal. Eight of eight. And what are, where are the people we need to save? They're still just all around, are they? What can I do for you? I'll just grab them, but um, I'm not really too concerned about getting that quest, that daily quest done, but we happen to get enough. What was it, seven? I thought, was it three or seven? I can't remember. Can't remember, it was like a whole couple days ago. 
Look, squire, to our dweller has lost his crate to the sulfurous. Fear not, I have only, I seek only to help. Is that your crate that floats in the pond and the water so amazingly close yet so perilously far away? Move not an inch, it shall be retrieved. Deloria, the lady of my heart, tells me often that kindness to all. <laughs> my squire will pull your crate from the water for you post haste. Oh yes, just the squire will, okay. Wait a minute. Here you go, dude. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm not sure I know what to make of all this, but hmm, thank you for returning my crate. Hold your head high. Well met. Dude. Go with honor, friend. Maximilian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, chill out, mate. Uh, is that all the people we need to say? No, there's one up the north, okay. So we're gonna fly all the way over here. We've got all the crystals. So we're gonna return to Marshall's stand. Five hundred yards. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. King Moshi. A dragon. No, 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 no. Dude, leave that dragon alone. Leave that dragon alone. Did he just give me kings? It appears that adventure has made itself apparent. Look, for uh, as I as a yonder town dweller treads, uh, watch as the accursed bird becomes flame and ash as soon as it is slayed. For Deloria! What? Curiously, the bird has not become flame and ash. A phoenix that does not become flame and ash, Bon is. If your curiosity gnaws at you, then you may know your salvation was delivered by Maximilian of Northshire. Squawky. I fear now I must depart you and your ex feet What? Dude talks too quick. Um, our duty is fulfilled. Even so, it troubles me that people of today are less than gracious. Perhaps tomorrow we shall experience proper thankfulness. Now we must ride. More adventures await! Not for me, Maximilian. I'm gonna hand these quests in. And I'm gonna go over to the other side and hand those quests in too. Hopefully we've completed a chapter. What's up? Ah, uh, think whatever you want of me, but they're not gonna care of the bones. They get to research it from ancient Stegodons and Demetrodons, or the ones that almost devoured us wholesale when we were trying to set up camps. I'll just be happy if we get out of here alive. Excellent! These should do the trick. And now, if you'll permit me, in case anyone's listening, thanks for digging all these bones out of the ground for us and not hurting the native beasts in any way. Whether you really did or didn't, I don't want to know. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Here, maybe this will keep your lips shut in the whole thing. Anything to get out of here alive, I say. <laughs> Glad I could help. All right, we'll leave that quest for now. Maximilian? Buddy? Do I, I hand this other quest in? For the Alliance. Oh, here he is. King's honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. And that makes 15 of them just as had a name today. And that name was Maximilian of Northshire for Deloria. Be careful. A moment of seriousness now. Our tracks is hang on. Bless you. Oh, you got another quest for us? Okay, we'll be back. I need to hand this quest in, so I'm complete with that. And I'm hoping one of the chapters... Oh, actually, I don't think so, because it's called the Pylons of Angoro. So there'll probably be more investigation. Because we've just about been around the entire zone, right? I think we haven't quite been down here. There might be a few things left for us to do yet. But it almost feels like we're going to finish the entire, all the chapters in one go. Good day to you. Or close to. I just know I'm onto something here, Artraxius. Very well then. Now I will continue my experiments. Thank you, Artraxius. Off and away. 